Hi Libra, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Someone could be letting go or you're letting go of something, going in a new direction and taking action. All right. So this may be you. This could be emotionally letting go of something or this may be another person who's letting go of... It could be anything, a person, a job. It may be coming towards you. Nine of Cups. Two, wow, Two of Cups. Five of Wands, Temperance, and the Two of Coins. You have good news. Overall energy is Nine of Cups, so it's good. So obviously, it's a wish fulfilled, good news. There is someone here, though, with the Two of Cups in their energy, but yet you seem to be making some sort of decision right now. You may be, um, it could be a, a fire sign as I split the deck that you're dealing with, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it doesn't have to be. I f okay, this is what I'm kind of feeling. I'm feeling like something is just not piquing your interest anymore. It could be a relationship, a person, a job. But it's kind of like, I feel like you are in a, in, you're ready to move in a new direction. Something's not making you happy. It could be where you live. It could be your friends. It could be your work. Yeah, you're going towards something new. So you're trying to figure out the next step. I'm getting you to feel very unsettled, Libra. Like you're just like not... You don't feel at peace, but you may not be like having any sort of anxiety, though you could if that's coming up. Maybe you are, but I'm kind of getting like you just feel restless. Maybe that's a good way. Five of Wands, I feel like it's restlessness, but you're just not sure what to do. Okay. Can <clears throat> I see what it's telling me? Judgment, the Ten of Cups. Someone's going to come in and give you an idea. First thing I'm kind of getting is maybe going backwards, going home, going to talk to a friend, doing something with the Ten of Cups could be very beneficial. Maybe taking a day and going off to a place that you really love to go to. Um, like if you live near the beach, go to the beach. Or if you have a special you know, place, you go get coffee. Do something that brings you some sort of like just happiness or peace. Because um, this tells me that going and talking to family. But some of you don't have family. Some of you don't have like a lot of you know, close friends around you or something like that. So it means more like getting ideas. See, I don't want to say from the past either because it's not the Six of Cups. But it's kind of that general feeling. I'm getting some of you like bucking a trend, bucking a situation. I feel like you're tired of being told what to do. Or you feel like that it could be that you're tired of a job something that's making you feel kind of not kind of like tied down or kind of claustrophobic there's an idea coming towards you there's something that you're going to hear or read or talk to someone about and it's going to give you the next a key to your path what you're supposed to be doing next and it's going to make complete sense so i'm getting uh, you have final say with the two of coins that tells me you're trying to make this decision this actually, yeah, you're going to move forward. This actually doesn't feel like love. I feel like there's someone in your energy who likes you, but you're over them. It's, it could be an ex, could be anyone, but you just, they may actually have feelings for you, the two of cups here, but I kind of get like you feel, I don't know, some of you may feel kind of like drowning, like they always are with you. I heard the word toxic, or you just feel like this is just not your right person, something like that. They could be somewhat controlling. They could be a Capricorn or Pisces, but neither coins. You know what it is? See, some of you may be tied to the past, but not like you're far back, just recently, like the past years. It's like you keep doing the same thing over and over and you're tired of that. You may, again, feel kind of, I get some of you, this person may be jealous. They don't want you to be out in the open. They don't want people to see you because they they'll want to date you or they'll, you know, they'll want to, if it's a job, they know you have good skills and, and you could easily get a better job. Somebody sees your real worth and value. And I think you're finally seeing that too. If you haven't up until this time, you're seeing like, wow, I could get a way better job with more money. I could be in a better relationship with someone who treats me better or something, something like that. Some of you just have to get unstuck or see that some of your beliefs are coming from childhood. The moon with the six of cups and this devil energy can mean that you have old childhood beliefs holding you back that you don't even realize are there. Programming from family, parents, childhood, something like that. I think it's time for you to move on because five of wands is like, okay, I gotta get out of here. You know what I mean? It's like you are not seeing eye to eye with people. You may be noticing that you're arguing with people more. You don't get along anymore with people around you, your friends, your coworkers. If you're dating one specific person, I see something changing though. Definitely something changing. Some of you may want to take like a break and go to like an Airbnb or something just for a couple days or I get like something like going someplace that makes you happy. It keeps coming back to my head. So what is the Six of Swords? 
Oh, maybe there's this particular person, maybe a Gemini, doesn't need to be, that really kind of like floats your boat. There could be a new opportunity in love. I'm not going to read this as love, honestly, because I do feel like this is something else. This could be a friend, this could be work. But under the deck is the Ace of Coin. Some of you are going to go to a better, better, towards a better choice, is what I'm getting here. You have been maybe dealing with people who are flaky and don't want commitment. And I get like you're going towards someone who is really attractive, that they really want commitment. And up until now, maybe that wasn't what you were thinking about. Or <clears throat> maybe it's vice versa. I mean, your outcome is the lovers and the six of wands. Maybe you just want to fling. I mean, you could be doing the opposite. Something's piquing your interest and it's going to make complete sense in the next week. Let me see if there's something else I can get for that to make it more specific. Let me see if this deck helps. I don't know if this deck will help him. But what does Libra need to know? Karma. Okay. It does say new opportunity. So it says toxic story or new opportunity. But that's what I'm getting. There's a new opportunity here. Ice Queen. Now, this could be you because you're a Libra, air sign, whatever, but divorcee, mother discernment, past life, knowing past love, deja vu. See, I do get something like there's something holding you back also for some of you. Repeating patterns. Could be from your mom's side. Could be something that was said to you by your mother when you were really young or whoever raised you if it wasn't your mom, you know, a grandma, an aunt, a, um, a foster parent. Somebody like that may have implanted something. Some of you may start having dreams about past lives or you may have memories of things. Things may be coming to light spiritually for you as well. But on, on like what, what I'm seeing here, just like normal, like I guess some of you are going towards something that you're more passionate about, whether it's a person, what you do for a living, and you're going to be very happy. I feel like you're just kind of getting out of something that was like restraining you is the best way I can describe it. I'm trying to see what deck to go to because I'm not really... Let me go to spirit deck. I like this one because this sometimes tells you what you're dealing with. Hang on, Cece. True love. Something that you love. Something that makes you really happy, whether it's a person or something you truly want to be doing. Because I'm getting some of you are in the wrong place. You're living in the wrong city. You're with the wrong people, the wrong job. And you know that deep down. Matt, yes, yeah, you already learned the lesson. So it's kind of like you're repeating a pattern here. But I think you're going to graduate. You know this. This is kind of specific to you. You know what I mean? It's going to be different for different people. You could be arguing with someone a lot lately. Again, like I said, and you're just over it. So spirit's going to make it known. Let me let me do one from this deck. One from this deck. There's a storm warning, but I don't. I think this may be you with the five of wands. It says upheaval, obstacles, wrecking ball, and drama. Be careful not to get pushed to your limits, Libra. Be careful not to like put up with something and then you just have a breaking point and you know you're unhappy and you need to take steps to get out of something or you know because I feel like some of you could end up having like a major argument or I mean I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing helm it says take charge that's exactly what I'm getting take charge some of you are like the ship here underneath the deck it says uh, find closure the end of a phase or cycle yeah, that's a good way to wrap it up because I'm kind of getting like you're done with something. It's just like the letting go. You're moving in a new direction. It is way better. You've been wanting to go in this way for a long time. So I'm going to leave it there, Libra. Have a great week.